Welcome back everybody, Brobent here. Today we're back in the forest on day 145. Let's quickly get some aloe vera because we, I just had a look, are on 19 athleticism. That is going so fast, I, you don't even notice it. So, since the last episode, an update has been released and it's probably the second largest update I've ever seen released for the forest. We've got so much brand new stuff, and yes, it, I'm sorry it is night. Now, I'll not put you through the night too much. I'm going to go ahead and do some farming, and I'll see you in the morning. So morning is upon us, doing a nice early hunt. Looks like with the brightness, it's probably about 6 a.m. right now. And the cannibals have been hard at work making some decent sticks for us. Let's be honest, though, that's the first time I've seen any effigies in this location. That's interesting. So, in today's episode, we are going to be doing the most generic thing at this moment in time. So, all the YouTubers appear to be using the new zip lines to go across the sinkhole. Well, I can tell already you're typing in the comments, you know, you're just clickbaiting like the rest of them. Well, we have a reason, don't we? We have a, we have a base hanging over the sinkhole. We have a reason to add zip lines. Now, where would we add zip lines though? Well, I've got a few ideas, and one of them is to do with the most time consuming part of this base, and that is this walking from side to side. It takes ages. So, our first project of the day is going to be tearing down a few of these fences and installing zip lines. Now, these zip lines are going to be going straight over the path. Cool. So what we can do now, is go ahead and get the zip line out, place this down, right, oh look at that, place that down as far out as we can, preferably, about there, yeah we can't place it here by the looks of it. So what we'll do, is run right to the end, in between the two pillars, and hope to god we can place it down. <gasps> no way, that is perfect, look at that. That could not have been better. Okay, so we need... You can just see it up there. Why is it up there? 10 logs and 12 rope. Now that will just make it so I only have to run one way. And it'll be so much easier getting to the gate. For example, if we're under attack in the middle of the night, I can just jump on the zip line, rush down with my gear, and defend the gate. So we're going to need a lot of rope, actually. Oh, I hear a cannibal. Don't attack me. Let me chop the tree. Just l let me chop the tree. Oh, you're in the trap. Two of them, actually. So, just over in this village, there's a few pieces of rope that I can get. They should be just in one of these huts here, I think. Two pieces of rope there. So, it looks like we're just getting two, unfortunately. Whoa! What's with the log? That might be why. Have they just seen me? Or have they... They might have heard the log land. Oh, she's seen me. <laughs> why am I running? Come on, up here. Come into my home. It's totally safe. Any of these doors. Anyone, just pick one. Come on in. Come on. Pew. Whoa! Bloody hell! Bloody Spider-Man up here. There was a bug. Re oh, there was a bug. If you um, if you chop a tree down while they're on it, they're supposed to like stay floating. Ah, oh, come on. I'm not sure if it was fixed though, so it'd be interesting to find out. Can you climb back up the tree a second? Alright, so get this. We no longer require any logs, but the blueprint's half done. So I think they will tweak that at some point. We've only got another eight to go for the rope. Now I'm gonna have to use some of this cloth here, there's just too much together. If only there was a way to get unlimited cloth. Wink. And kaboom! Wait, one, come on. <gasps> I wanna try it! What if I fall off? Oh, and get this right, you know the helicopter is at the bottom of the sinkhole? We can just about see it from up here. So, uh, you just see it there? It's right there, look. And that is where the machete is. We will go and get that at some point, but I think today we're gonna be messing around with the zipline. <gasps> It is so perfect. I could not have made that any better. 
Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello? Uh-oh. I'm doing that again. Like, they just look so- they look like supports as well, don't they? Like a tension bridge? You know, like they're holding it up? That's interesting. I mean, it's reversed, but still. Oh my god. I wonder if the- if I do this again, and the gate's open, I'll get launched through it. And I could close. I'm doing that. <laughs> and then I can close it as I get launched through it. Sorry, I'm like a little kid at Christmas. I'm not gonna get bored of this. <laughs> it just lines up so well. Everything's perfect. <laughs> oh my god! That is so good! I've got raw meat on me. I am so happy with that. I can just get launched through it and close it on my way through. I am not going to get bored of that. Alright, we definitely need to go ahead and do the other side too. It'd be good if I could get a way to um, do one the other way, you get me? But that would mean building a bridge. I could do that actually. I could connect these two with the bridge. I can walk along that one. Hold on a second. I wonder. I mean... No, it's not going to work. Probably going to make another zip line right here. Going that way. To get on, if you get me. So uh, this one's going out, that one's going to go out. We're going to build one there too. And then this one will be coming in. Now, as for the other side, I've got the rabbit cages there. And I don't think... I mean, it would be useful to have a zip line here. But I don't think I'm going to be able to because of the height, you know? This is higher up than anything over there. But never say never. May happen. Alright, and then the second one goes here. Right there. Oh, oh my god. And we can pop that right here in between these two pillars. 10 logs, 14 rope, again. So I've been thinking about this for a while, and I want to know your input. Now, I've got a plan as to how I would speedrun the forest. I reckon I could complete the game very, very quickly. So I want you to go ahead and click the poll at the top right of the screen right now, and click yes or no as to whether or not you would like to see me speed run the forest. Right, 14 pieces of rope and we've got 58 cloth. We're gonna need some more. They're right outside. As if they haven't seen me. Oh, never mind. See me now. Just pop me down into the cloth cave. I'm gonna grab as much as I can in order to do all of these zip lines. Actually, now's a good time to test out the new uh, plastic torch. Wait, they shouldn't they have changed the name from plastic torch to uh, I forgot what they called it. You can definitely tell it's a, it's a little bit better. Uh, the distance hasn't changed. Well, I like that combination though, the katana and this. So if you don't know where this location is to get unlimited cloth, there'll be a card at the top right of the screen right now that will take you to a tutorial on how to do this. Now yes, it is a bit of an exploit, but if you're really struggling for cloth, and even with these new zip lines now, you do kind of need a lot of rope. And you can only carry four rope at a time, but you can carry unlimited cloth. It just makes sense to have a lot of cloth, basically. I tell you what, I am terrible at navigating this place today. I'm going all over the shop. It just took me about ten minutes to get from the bottom left to the middle. So yeah, I was thinking about having another one right up here, just at the top, leading down over there. It would be a lot quicker, for example, right now. I wouldn't have to run all the way around. So, actually, yes. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, God. This is so good. This one's a little bit higher because the uh, cause the drop, obviously. But look at this. Boom, straight on. No fuss. Not going to fall. Uh -huh. All right, let's try it with the gate open. Just think of how useful this is. Like, I can probably get from one of my bases all the way to the other in no time. If I if I spend time setting those up all the way across, perhaps in tree houses. You ready? I want to try and jump and get onto it. I wonder if I can land over there. <gasps> oh my god, it's so good! Oh my god, man. This is so exciting. At first, if I'm honest, when I read zip lines, I was like, oh, oh no. Just like another gimmick or something, isn't it? Why does everything look weird today? 
everything does look weird, doesn't it? It's brighter. Like this. I don't know, is it just me? Imagine if we could find a little pulley wheel. So we put a wheel on it and then like, pedal with our hands, if that makes any sense, and it'll pull us over it. That'd be cool for getting up. Like a two-way wheel, instead of using our plain axe. I don't know. That's, um, I don't really think that's a good idea for the forest. It just means like another item to collect, really, doesn't it? There we go. See if this one fits, shall we? Look how wonky my book is. See that? At least the tabs will work. Looks like I'm going to have to rebuild the... Uh, a few fences. So what we can do is destroy this. In fact, let's make sure that the autofill will fill everything perfectly. Maybe not. Oh my god. Exposed once again. Whoa, that was weird. It like... Ooh. I don't think I've ever seen a blueprint do that. It, like, rejected the area. So in order to make it straight, we've got to build it like here. Which means that we need to build a platform. And that is exactly what I shall do. That'll do nicely. 16 logs. I just realised for this one, I probably could have pinned it to a tree. And I wouldn't have had to have built this. Yeah, I could have pinned it to the tree and pinned it over there. You see, that would have been a better idea. Well, I'm going to keep... I'm going to build it for now anyway, as we planned. Um, and then in the future, if we think that would be better, we can go ahead and change it. Ah, how am I going to get in? Huh. That's never an issue. And there we go. Oh my god. Oh, stop. It's slightly off, actually. That's kind of that's going to bug me. So let's stop twitching. Place. Not too bad. Same as before. God, I love this thing. <gasps> Nearly fell. Best thing about it is you can jump early. And, oh my god. It launches even faster if you do that. Look at that. Done it. And then we can go ahead and go straight into our base. Hopefully we don't die. I can't, don't put the torch on. I'm gonna let go then. Oh, that's a little bit closer comfort, that. So let's go and check on the rabbits really quick. We've got one here. And it looks like we've only got one extra that time. So we slept two nights. One was all the way over at the treehouse base. And we only got one rabbit. So maybe it's got something to do with being really close by. I don't know. Like, whenever I sleep here, it doesn't seem to have too much luck. But last night, we went and set up this extra zip line right here. So what we're going to do is have a quick run around the mall. And, oh, they're so useful. Having them just right into the center of the base. <laughs> Getting launched into the gate. I like that. That is so good. And then let's say, for example, I go on a farming run to get some of these sticks. And once I'm done, I don't really fancy walking all the way back along there. What I can do is just head all the way up here. And I do like having these lights here. They look really cool. Now, the best thing about going up here to get back onto the base is that if I have some cannibals tailing me and I go to run away and I head over the zip line, when I get to the other side, they can no longer find me. That means that they get de aggroed and just walk away. It's the perfect escape. So let's just jump down it. Now it's all complete. Look at that. Boom. Done. We've escaped. We're completely safe. I could even drop off right here and go into the bottom of the sinkhole if I wanted to. Oh, that's so good. Sorry, I'm just so excited about that. Line of the day. It's so good. And let's just add a few lights right here. Hmm. I was able to do it on the other one. <gasps> no way! I can add these! All right, we'll add one right there, and then another one just there. Oh my god, it means more rope. <laughs> oh my god, I am so happy with this. But unfortunately, guys, I do have to round today's episode up here. They look evil. So if you guys did enjoy today's episode testing out the new zip lines and installing them into our base, make sure to press the like button below. Also, on your way out, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll catch you in the next video.